Hi everyone! So, we are fast up to the video, which is major related and informative one. So, I'm gonna pull out basic Revit tutorial. If you're interested to it, keep on watching. So, for beginners, when you start up Revit software, this is what it looks like. So, there are options here. Models and families. Models means new and existing projects, while families on the other hand refers to components. So since I wanted to show you guys how to start from scratch, we'll choose new here. So template option will pop out and you can choose a template if you have existing one but for now let's check none and then hit ok so another option will pop out which are um, imperial and metric so imperials are non metric Measures usually the infraction, so while well, metric are whole numbers or in a negative. For this, we'll choose metric. So for starter, you will see nothing at this area. So options at the top are called tab and ribbon. And then there are two important options here the left corner which is called the project browser and properties so project browser shows hierarchy of all views and schedules and then properties remains open while you work in it so it shows properties of the selected element so the default level here is level one so let's start by okay creating floor so under architecture you'll see floor ribbon so click that then you will be given option how you will create floor so i'll just use here rectangle so as you can see what's good in revit is that when you um, click a line, so it will automatically show dimension. So when you click the width, length can be adjusted. So I will create this as 30 square meter floor plan. So I'll make this uh, 5,000. And then this one to be 6,000 millimeters, of course. So we now have a floor plan that is 30 square meters. Okay, so to finish, just click check. So to view it in 3D, there is an option at the top, default 3D view. So when you click that, you see the floors in 3d view and then you, you 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 can notice that the floor has a default thickness which is 300 so you can edit its thickness by clicking edit type on the properties of course and then i'm going to change it to 200 then hit ok now we have 30 square floor plan and 200 thick So, the next thing we need to do is to model a wall. So, let's go back to level 1 floor plan. And then, we need to click again on architecture tab. And then, hit wall. And again, you'll be given an option how you want to create to 
want I mean how do you want to model your wall so since it is a perimeter wall or external wall we need to change location line and make it align to finish face exterior so it will make us easier to align the exterior walls face to our modeled floor edge so see that it's so much easier right so now to check go to 3d view again so this is how it looks like now again revit gave us a default thickness of 300 so we need to have Okay, so as exterior walls, it is um, 300 thick walls. So we need to have interior walls as well. So to do that, we need to go back to architecture and then just um, create interior, interior walls. You can actually model it wherever you want. So here, same as exterior wall thickness, so we need to edit it. Okay, so to do that, as you can see, I have to edit the properties, edit type, then duplicate, and rename the second wall. So it's better to have the thickness of the second wall, so I'll put here 100 mm thick. So hit OK. And then of course, thickness to 100. So you can see now that the thickness is 100 mm. Finally hit OK. So let's just put another interior walls here. And another one here. Then let's go back to 3D again. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust this to. Okay. So let's let's take a look at it's 3D. So so what we need now is doors and windows. To do that, we need to insert components or families to our project. So we need to click insert on the tab. Okay, then load family. So, okay, I'm having a trouble with my Revit right now, so... Okay, so this one will pop out. It's just basically, um, you need to put where... You, you need to put the location of where your library is located. So, for me, I have here location already, so I'll just choose what type I want to load. Then, hit open. Then, to model the door, We need to go back to architecture tab and then click door and as you can see the door we loaded a while ago will automatically appear so we need we just need to attach it to the wall so to check 
if it's orientation, we need to go back to plan. And check if it's on center. So, need to put dimensions here. And here. So, it's equal. We can delete back the dimensions now. So, I just have to flip this before I go back to 3D. So, I'm going to flip the door. And then add doors for my bedroom and restroom. So I think I need to adjust the interior walls since the restroom is too small for me. So. Okay, so I think this is fine. I'll just go back to 3D to see how it progressed. So, what I need now is windows. So, just like what I did with loading the doors. We just have to click insert, load family, and then go to where your Windows family is saved. And I'm choosing generic. Hmm, okay, so. I'm choosing generic double sliding. Single one. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, got it. And then hit open. So, to insert the window to our project, click again architecture tab. And then window. Again, Revit will automatically read the type of family you just loaded. So attach it to the wall. Put as much windows you wanted. So, as you can see, windows were too high. So to modify its position and read, we need to go back to level 1 floor plan. Okay, we need to go to view. Then create elevation. So this is the only side I wanted to see. So I'm editing elevations far clip now. Okay, so you can adjust far clip through this to rectangular buttons. So to go to the elevations. You made with it. We just have to um, okay. We just have to double click or right click the mouse. Okay, I just can see the go to the elevation view. Easier way is to just double click it. Okay, so there we have it. 
and you'll be redirect redirected to the elevation view then for this I wanted my window to only be 900 millimeters from level 1 so Okay, so to check if what I did was right, I I have dimension here. So this thin line is actually the level one. Okay, you can see that on the property again. So it's too high. So I'm adding its height through its properties. So edit type. And then, okay, let's look for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. This is the height, so let's just uh, put this. I think 1,200 millimeters to level with door. Okay. So, edit after that. As you can see, it's aligned with the door now. So, let's just edit this other door to 900 mil from finished floor level. So to check if it is placed or it was placed symmetrically, we need to go back to level 1 floor plan and then create dimensions here. So as you can see, it's not. So we just have to locate in the same location facing each other. So let's have one to also here. So since it's now symmetrical, it's good now. So we need to create elevation again. Okay, so what I did was simply CS or create similar with the elevation and you will have an elevation here as well. So right click and then go to elevation view. So here it is now. So we just have to edit its seal height to 900 to level with the other windows. And go back to floor plan. And measure if it is centered. But I think it is centered already. We just have to check it. Okay. So... The EQ sign here is actually let you make it um, equally distance. It's an easier way to make it equally spaced. See that? So, yeah. Another example is this area. So, I just have to click EQ at the top and it's centered now. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna go to 3D view again. So what we need now is roof. So architecture tab again. And then... Oh, I forgot to add another... Level here. So we need to copy this level 1. 
I'm assuming to just have 3,000 millimeters from level 1. And that will be our level 2. We need to go to level 2 plan. So to do that, we need to go to view tab. And then... View tab and then drop down plan view and then floor plan and then here we can see the level 2. So hit OK and this now the view on level 2. Now we can create a roof by hitting architecture tab again and then Click Roof. So, we have different options here to create a roof. So, I'm just gonna use Rectangle again, which is my favorite. So, click Rectangle and then... I'm assuming to have a 1,200 millimeters overhang, so I'll just put 1,200 in here. So then I'll check here. And for this one, I'll just click Don't Attach for now. So to check, Go to 3D. So as you can see, this is a flat roof. So we need to create slope to drop water. So to do that, go back to level 2 plan. Select the roof and modify sub elements so we need to add points at the center so this is actually for the roof ridge so i'm putting it at the center to create a typical gable roof so i'm gonna edit its height to 3000 and then 3000 again at this part so I'm gonna click on 3D to see what happened okay so I think 3000 millimeters is too high so I'm changing it to at least 2000 millimeters So as you can see here, walls are not cut on the same slope as roof. So what we need to do is select all walls. Change its top height or constraint to level 2 and then top offset. To okay, so tap offset to three thousand millimeters. So we need a higher level of wall than the roof, and we just have to click attach here and click where we wanted to attach the walls, which is the roof. So there you go this is how it looks like now it will be cut same as how the roof were made okay so now it's all done i hope you learn from this simple tutorial